Hello friends, a warm greeting to everyone listening and watching. Welcome to Infinity Info Universe. Have you ever wondered if there could be a place in our vast world where no animal can go, no bird can fly, and no fish can swim? The thought itself is quite surprising, but you will be even more astonished to learn that such a place really exists where no living creature can pass. This mysterious line is called the Wallace Line, and it runs between two beautiful Indonesian islands, Bali and Lombok. What's fascinating is that this line is invisible on any map, radar, or physical barrier. It's a natural boundary that separates two different worlds. On one side, you find completely different kinds of animals, birds, and fish, while on the other side, there is a completely different life. If you travel from Bali to Lombok, it feels like you have entered an entirely different world, and all this happens within just 35 kilometers. How can such a massive change occur in such a small distance? Why did nature separate these regions for a special purpose? Is there a secret hidden behind this? Today, we'll uncover the story of Wallace's line and explain how Alfred Russell Wallace discovered this astonishing phenomenon 150 years ago. So, get ready for an exciting journey where the secrets of nature will leave you astonished. This story belongs to Alfred Russell Wallace, the true discoverer of this phenomenon. He was born in England in 1823. Wallace's childhood wasn't ordinary. His father was a map maker, but his income was so low that he couldn't afford a proper education for his son. Due to financial difficulties, Alfred left school and decided to travel the world with his father. During these travels, he observed the world's various regions, their climates, wildlife, and geography, documenting these observations in a small diary. This habit would later make him famous worldwide. Alfred got the opportunity to investigate the islands of Indonesia, specifically Bali and Lombok, on a government scholarship. Once he reached these islands, he saw something no one had ever seen before. In Bali, he observed lions, elephants, and colorful birds, all of which astonished him. But when he traveled just 35 kilometers to Lombok, everything changed. The life there was completely different. There were no lions or elephants, and the birds were completely different. Instead, he saw animals like kangaroos, koalas, and the Komodo dragon. Wallace noticed a huge difference not just in the animals, but also in the environment. This wasn't a minor observation. The transformation between these two islands was drastic. The question was, why did this happen? How could the world around him change so dramatically in such a small distance? Alfred and his companions tried to understand this difference, but the reality was far beyond their imagination. Alfred's moment of awe came when he sat on the shores of Lombok, looking out at the calm waters of the ocean. That's when he noticed something strange. The fish in the ocean would stop at a certain point and turn back. No visible barriers or walls were stopping them, yet something invisible seemed to restrict their movement. Alfred couldn't understand why this was happening. The waters looked the same, and there was no visible wall, but the fish seemed to be halted by some hidden force. This observation made him even more curious. He decided not to leave until he had figured out the mystery of this invisible line. He prepared a small boat and started closely observing the waters and the fish. He noted that these fish never crossed into each other's territories, and when caught and released beyond the line, they exhibited a strange condition and even died. This made Wallace realize that this wasn't just an earthly boundary, but one that existed underwater as well. This mysterious line was a remarkable secret of nature. Alfred's discovery wasn't just an observation. It was the beginning of uncovering a whole new chapter in understanding nature's wonders. Later, Wallace realized that millions of years ago, all the continents were once connected. Due to the movements of tectonic plates, the continents broke apart and drifted to their current positions. Australia and Asia, for example, were once much closer, but the movement of the plates separated them. The existence of Indonesia's islands came as a result of this movement. As these islands formed, the ocean created natural barriers that limited the migration of animals and birds. Wallace observed that the animals found in Bali, such as lions and elephants, were related to the jungles of Asia. 
These land animals couldn't swim across the ocean to Lombok. On the other hand, Lombok had animals like kangaroos and Komodo dragons that are native to Australia. These regions have been separated by the sea, and the animal's migration was restricted by this natural boundary. While birds can usually migrate, Wallace noticed that the birds in Bali and Lombok didn't migrate across the ocean. Their physical strength and endurance were limited, preventing them from flying across the 35 kilometers of sea. There's no obvious physical barrier in the ocean, yet Wallace's findings revealed that a strong current in the waters between Bali and Lombok made it almost impossible for fish and marine animals to cross. This current is a result of tectonic plate movements, which impact the surrounding environment. The Wallace Line is not just a boundary for life. It is evidence of nature's astonishing system. It shows us how our world is uniquely divided and how the geography of the Earth has shaped the distribution of life across different regions. Wallace's discovery teaches us that observation and curiosity are the keys to uncovering the secrets of nature. Now, stop and think about it. How many more such incredible places and stories could be hidden in our world, waiting to surprise us? So friends, if you enjoyed learning about these secrets, please support us by liking this video, sharing it with your friends, and subscribing to our channel. This way, you won't miss any fascinating videos. In our next video, we'll explore another amazing topic. Until then, take care of yourselves and get ready to learn more about the extraordinary secrets of nature. Friends, we will meet again in the next video. Until then, take care of yourselves and be ready to learn more about the amazing secrets of nature by subscribing to Infinity Info Universe.